ru olodun ma re si o open heavens a daily devotional by pastor e e adeboye subscribe to wak tv for open heaven analysis with ayo wale kayode stay tuned open heavens a guide to a close fellowship with god happy weekend to you all yes happy saturday to be precise yesterday we studied a very interesting topic on the rich man's brother and we could see how the rich man was even interceding for his brother when he was in hell that is to say no one will even pray for his enemy to go to hellfire that is a lesson to us that if you dare never to miss heaven you should dare never to be in hell never if you miss heaven you will cry but i will thank you lord for today for a blessed new day be thou exalted in the mighty name of jesus as we want to dig into your word i pray you help us to know it better inspire us preach trust yourself for in jesus most precious mighty name we have prayed amen today is fourth sunday september 2022 and our topic today is be not conformed be not conformed be not conformed yes this is uh day four of september of the open heaven devotion by pastor ea adeboye our bible reading shall be taken from first corinthians chapter 2 from verse 11 to 16. 11 for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is a name even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit of god now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that which we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the word which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, with the natural man, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually designed. Verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. What a great passage. What a great pas- passage. I love that 16. We have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct. It is when you know the mind of God, you, you know his instructions. And the latter part said, but we have the mind of God. What a glorious thing the small body carrying the mind of christ it is a privilege when you are in christ it is a privilege that verse 13 and 14 to send great messages yes now man speaketh in his wisdom so he teaches in his wisdom it is the capacity of man it is from the capacity of man the ability of man is revealed do you understand that yes it is what a man knows he gives out you can't give what you don't know but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, that is the work of the Holy Ghost. Now, when we conform to man, it is man's angle we see ourselves, we do things, we neglect that of God. And that is why it is not good to conform to the world. Verse 14 again, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. No, it is contra- contradicting. It is just a natural man. He does not even perceive the Spirit of God, talkless of receiving the Spirit of God. But their foolishness unto him. He sees God's instruction. He sees God's things as foolishness because he cannot comprehend. His normal or natural brain capacity cannot decode the capacity of God. He cannot just comprehend. He cannot. He cannot. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually designed. How will you compare a natural man to a spiritual man? Now, let me tell us a story. What happened yesterday? It happened really. I wanted to charge my phone then i saw a power bank because i went to visit the family and the daughter was like i was like ah thank god this thing is like this thing is 92. she said it is 26. i said eh, okay it is 26 so it's like she was like oh is it 92. i took the power bank to charge you won't believe i was thinking it's 26 because the way i position it also after some why from 26 it got to 16. from 16 it got to 06 i was surprised we didn't few minutes then i quickly returned it because the mother too wanted to charge when she came and she was like ah she wanted to charge as she has been looking for court she did not see the small court so i had to make confession to her that i'm sorry my use the power bank but i never knew it to drop like that said uh uh-uh, this thing is uh 90 i was like eh 90k 
I had to give her my call. She even is my call because her call wasn't working. Now, what am I trying to say? When I was seeing 26, the power bank was 92. When I was seeing 16, the power bank was 91. When I was seeing 06, the power bank was 90. That is the view, our view, differ. Now, when you view it from the world perspective, what you will see or what the world see is different. But when you view it from God's lens, what you see is different because the world's view is different from God's view. So when we see it from the world's view, we are only truncating our destiny. We are only caging ourselves. We are only limiting ourselves. We are only being um, myopic. We are not really fulfilling the capacity which God wants us to fulfill. That is why we should not conform to the world, but rather conform to God. Yes, to the vision he has for us. Okay, let's move to our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but ye be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that he may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 2. This is very um but this is very simple to memorize. I'll be reading it two times again. And the second time I expect you to read without looking at the screen. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that ye may prove that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Again, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal renewal of your mind that ye may prove that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes. When you don't conform to the world, before you know daily, your mind will be transformed. It will be renewed. There is a way it's, there's a processing. But when you don't, when you conform to the world, you will conform to things of the world. But when you conform to God, your mind will also adapt to the things of God. The message of the day many people in their bid to get to the top and be accepted by others like to jump on trends which only keep them at the bottom the only people who get to the top are those who do not yield to the pressure to be like everyone but else create a path for others to follow you don't need to be like everyone you can create a path for people to follow a popular man of god was saying he said then in his in his school People will just crack jokes and they will laugh. One day he laughed too. And God scolded him. God, uh, he was like, God, what happened? Others are laughing. Why don't you want me to laugh? Then he said, are you others? The thing is, when we think the world, are, the, the world is doing this, I want to venture into it. Then we are missing God's agenda for our life. Let us continue from the open heaven. These people are always true to themselves. Many people have lost their personal identity in Christ. Hmm and the real purpose of god for their life because they are trying to be like everyone else imagine imagine they've lost their personal identity they are not like non-identity none that is they don't have identity again they are only following the word follow follow i pray we will not lose our identity in christ in jesus name i have listened to so many to many preachers i admire a lot i admire how they deliver their sermons. i admire them i like them but I don't copy them. Rather, I do it in the way of the Lord has taught me to. While the world is being preached, the sick are getting healed, the barren are made fruitful, captives of the devil are set free, and many souls are saved. I'm st- simply doing what God asked me to do and is helping me. That is how to get to the top. Psalms 121 verse 1 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. If you want God's help, then your eyes must be fixed on him. Not what is trending. Jesus said in John 5 19. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what is yet the Father do? For what things soever he doeth, this also doeth the Son likewise. The fellow who wants to be accepted by everybody will not focus on what is important. Instead, his mind will be distracted by people's perspiration. In my own field of practice, what is most important is intimacy with God. People come to me not because they like my face or for the fact that I studied mathematics. It is because they know that I am close to the Lord. And so if they want to hear from me, from Him, I will tell them directly the mind of God. They are confident that if I ask God for something on their behalf, 
he would listen. Several, several years ago, when many ministers of God were wearing big flower flowing robes, and I continued with my little French suit, people called me names. But I wasn't bothered. You cannot be like everybody else and become a role model. A role model is someone who others copy, not someone who copies others. Don't copy the ways of the world. Copy Christ and the world will come and copy you. Praise the Lord. I loved what uh, Daddy E. Adebu said in the latter uh, past. A role model is someone who others copy, not someone who copies others. Yes. A role model. This is how. This is my model of life. This is how God has fashioned me to be. That's where people are like. Yes, I love the way this man is doing. Not that you are copying somebody else. Yes, a role model should be whom somebody will copy. Whom they've seen something distinct, something different, something they can emulate. That is what emulation. Don't copy the way of the world. Copy Christ, and the world will come and copy you. Hmm. Have you seen? Have, have you seen the circular flow? When you copy Christ, people will come back to you to copy you. I've seen the circular flow. Yes, it takes a man of knowledge and wisdom to know this. It takes a man of knowledge and wisdom to know this. Please, your timetable, your life's guide is different from another person's guide. So don't because the world is doing that, you to you do it. No, you are not of the world. So you shouldn't be of the world. You shouldn't copy the world. Stick to the Lord. Yes, looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Don't look into the world. Things might be trending, but God might not want it for you. Ignore it and keep following Christ. In Christendom, the perfect thing is to follow, just to follow. That is the instruction, just to follow. Our point for today, don't be afraid to be different from everybody else as long as you are obeying and copying Christ. Yes, don't be afraid to be different from everybody else as long as you are obeying and copying Christ. Don't be afraid. So far you are copying Christ, then you are okay. Even if you are not there now, so far you are obeying and uh, following his instructions, be okay. And don't be discouraged. Don't think of what people are saying. Don't be depressed. Don't be emotionally carried away. And don't be emotionally driven to fall. No, just keep following. Just keep following. And I pray God will up in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want us to pray that Father help me Lord to conform more to your world. Help me, Lord, to conform more, more to your word, rather. Yes, yes. When you conform to God's word, W-O-R-D, then the W-O-R-L-D's art will be far from you. Father, help me to conform to you, Lord. Help me to conform to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please don't miss tomorrow's analysis. Uh, tomorrow's will be, will be greater. And I pray God will help you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do have a blessed Sunday. If you've not subscribed to the Work TV, do that now so that you get notified when um, more analysis as more analysis will be dropping. Thanks so much and God bless you. Open Heavens, a daily devotional by Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye. Subscribe to WAC TV for Open Heaven analysis with Ayo Wale Kayode. Stay tuned. Open Heavens, a guide to a close fellowship with God.